the 2020 Super Bowl has come and gone. We got a bunch of halftime commercials, all of which were safe and terrible, and the Chiefs won. But who knew that the Antichrist was going to be born at the Super Bowl? I don't think anyone was expecting this level of corporate shittiness, and we've been getting a lot of that, and especially with Super Bowl commercials, since they've just been safe and terrible for quite a while. But really? A baby nut? That is the best you guys could do. You killed him off. You killed off your mascot. And then you're like, hey, let's make a fucking Baby Yoda ripoff. Because the internet isn't already tired of that bullshit. I never thought I'd have the desire to curb stomp a child and make peanut butter out of it, but I do now. I don't think there's anyone on the internet with a brain that enjoys this monster. It has no reason to exist other than the fact that it's trying to piggyback on Baby Yoda. And a lot of people are worried that other companies are going to start doing this and making baby versions of their own characters. What's next? Is Gerber going to change their mascot to a fully grown man to be unique because everything else will be babies? And that's not even the worst thing to come out of this last few days. Literally today, I believe, the Minions have a sequel! Yay! Whoo! I'm so excited! The trailer was absolutely god-awful. <laughs> it's about Gru becoming a villain, and holy shit, it sucks. It sucks so bad. The jokes are unfunny. The minions are the minions, which aren't funny anymore. They haven't been funny since the fucking first movie. Second movie, maybe? At most, the second movie and possibly the minions movie. But they've just become so oversaturated so god-awfully fucking annoying that you just cannot escape them and you don't find them funny. There's nothing funny about a yellow fucking Tic Tac being autistic. I don't think anyone finds that funny. Other than kids, which that's probably who they're targeting. Which, whatever, cool, just no one else gives a shit. <laughs> one last thing that happened, which I don't think was this week, was probably last week, but it was Kobe Bryant dying, which was, you know, really sad, especially since he had his daughter with him. The thing is, yes, it's a dark thing that just happened. People are gonna make memes about it because some people just can't help themselves with really, really fucked up memes, but there are people that are doxing people that have posted a Kobe Bryant meme or something, and it's like, really? That's just despicable behavior, like, come on. I noticed, I saw one on Twitter, I don't have any screenshots of it, because I think it was all fucking deleted, because I can't fucking find it anymore, but this kid posted a damn Kobe Bryant meme, he was like 15, so he was stupid, didn't really think about it, but he posted that, and then three separate people doxed him and were like, hey, go call, uh, bomb threats to this dude's school in his name. What, what planet do you live on that that's acceptable? I can't imagine anyone that I know that would think that, oh yes, someone made a distasteful joke, I'm gonna ruin their lives and call a fucking bomb threat to their school. Wow, great job, Megamind. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go.